Hi everyone, it's Ashley, and today I'm going to show you how you can open and make your Coco Daisy SVG files um, usable or PNG files. Okay, so Silhouette Studio is open, and I am just going to go and find where I have downloaded and saved the files from Coco Daisy. So when you open, you're not going to see any studio files because you haven't made them yet. Um, so click all files down here at the bottom of the list and it's going to show you all the files that are in this folder. So there's a zip um, folder that you might have downloaded and a JPEG and a PNG and here is the SVG. So I'm just going to click on it and click OK. And it opens up really, really big, but that's OK because it's just going to make tracing it and getting all the detail just a little easier. And then we're going to resize it when we're all done. So zoom out using the minus sign magnifying glass so you can see the whole thing. And then you're going to open the trace window. People call this the blue butterfly. It kind of looks like a butterfly or like a wobbly square. So click on that and then um, click on select trace area. And then you're just going to do a drag and drop. You don't have to select the whole thing. You can just select just the, the image. It doesn't really matter. Um, Zoom in a little bit just so we can see things in a little more detail. So we can make sure all the edges are getting all filled in like they're supposed to. So this red square is actually the size of a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So this is really big, but we're going to resize. Okay, so you've selected the trace area, and um, no, it's not working. Why is it not working? Okay. Let's see. Try again. Select trace area. Drag it over. There we go. Okay. So um, unclick high pass filter. And you can see if we zoom in that the little edges look pretty smooth. If you need to adjust them, you use the threshold setting. You can see if you take it all the way down, all the yellow disappears. And we don't want that. We do want the yellow. Um, and if you click, you can kind of see that some of the little yellow areas are kind of expanding and filling in a little more. This is really fine the way it is. You could play around with this and see if you could get it a little smoother, but honestly, this is going to work just great. So then we just click trace. And if we zoom back out so we can see the whole thing, if you grab the image and drag it away, you see those red cut lines. So that is awesome. That is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to delete. So just click on the image part and just press delete. Okay, so this is currently all grouped together, which is wonderful. It's going to make resizing it easy. And to resize, you click on this little icon that looks like a square being pulled out, like it's being resized. So click on it, and right away you want to click on Lock Aspect Ratio. And what this is going to do is make sure that the width and the height of the image stay in proportion to each other. Um, you're not going to, because we don't want to make it like really like short and tall, or the other way around, we want them to stay together. So for width, I'm just going to put in 12 inches, press Apply and then drag it over. Click on this to zoom into the page. And so this actually needs to be adjusted a little tiny bit more. So we're gonna try just 11.75. See if that fits. Not quite. 11.6. So you can adjust this. Um, I've resized this so it fit on an eight and a half by 11 um, piece of cardstock. That's what I used for one of my layouts this month. Um, that looks like that will fit, so you can try something about like 11.5 inches wide on yours. Um, or if you want it like bigger or smaller, you can do whatever you want. So that is basically exactly how you make your cut file cuttable. And then you just want to be sure to save it, so just go to File, Save As, and the only option to save is a studio file. So. Um, 
then you just type in whatever file name you would like to use, put it in whatever folder you want to use, and click OK. And so now, that only just took just not very long at all, and now when you want to cut this lovely confetti heart pattern or any of the other files from Coco Daisy, um, it's going to be all ready to go. So that's super duper easy, and I hope you have fun with it. And if you make something with these cut files, I hope that you will come to Coco Daisy and share with us. All right, thanks so much for um, watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!